Hello everyone and welcome into UMRV, the series that, well, we just uh, built a farm on. And I have got some equipment now. We've been working on this for a while, I've been talking to the dealer. We got us an international truck with a trailer and we've also got a Volvo right over here. It also has a matching trailer just like that one. And we picked up a low boy in order to haul some of our equipment. And this is some of the equipment we went with. We went with a John Deere 7310R with a front loader and a grapple bucket. We also went with a John Deere 8400R. And we've got us a nice John Deere foldable planter right here. That is going to be our planter. And we also picked ourselves up a Case 25 or 250. Yeah, Case 250 Magnum, and we've got ourselves a John Deere disc behind it, and that is the equipment that we got right now. Uh, we've got the, like I said, we've got the other trailer over at the farm. Don't mind this; we're having a little bit of issues with that rear tractor. Like I've said though, uh, we've got another trailer just like this at the farm, and that is it. So we are going to be going in and hauling some of this stuff home. I'm going to fix this mess right here. Get, we're going to haul this home first because well this keeps happening and then we will come back and continue there's probably a few more things we're going to get today so i'm going to go ahead and haul this get on the way home with this i'll catch y'all back whenever we get that done all right everyone so we're getting pretty close to the farm here so far so good but uh the one thing i am a little bit worried about is turning into our farm i put two street lights there so hopefully we can see a little better at night and I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna work so we're just gonna hope and pray that everything works good and go from there so the first turn we got into one driveway and then we got to turn out of that driveway into other and the only one I'm really worried about is the planter but uh, I guess we'll see what happens as we get up here because we are almost here so I will catch y'all back whenever we're pulling in all right everyone so we're just pulling up here so we're gonna see how this here is gonna work this driveway here is not gonna be no problem i don't think it's pretty wide entrance oh uh, yeah we got in it no problem part that i am worried about is our net the driveway that actually goes into our farm because i put street lights there if i didn't put street lights it would have been fine but we got a ditch here too so it's not like we can just go right through there but I guess we're going to see what's going to happen as we come up through here. The semi with the other trailer was fine, but I don't know how this is going to work. I guess we're about to find out. I'm going to swing way out as wide as I can. Gear down. We're going to swing way, way out. Come on. We are not going to make that. We're going to have to figure out some other way to get in here. Um... I guess I'll try to swing more out this way. Like this, and see if we can't get in there. We'll swing way over this way. Oh, come on, don't tell me we're stuck. Come on, back up. Back it up. Come on, don't tell me we're stuck. Ah, uh, I think we might be just a little stuck. Come on, take grip. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, we're just a little bit stuck. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get out of here and I'll catch y'all back whenever, once I get that done. All right, everyone, I got stuck and I finally got through there now. So we're just gonna head on up to the farm here and get these tractors unloaded. I'll catch y'all back once we get up our driveway. All right, everyone, so we made it up here, and I went ahead and disconnected that. So now we just got to come through here and do all, undo all the straps just like this all the way up through here that we strapped down. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything unstrapped up through here so we can pull it off. So I'll catch y'all back whenever I get all this done. All right, so we're going to get to pull the very first piece of equipment off, which is going to be our loader tractor and it's sort of our utility tractor i guess this thing our chore tractor what we do around the farm around the house stuff like that that is sort of what this tractor is for 
and because that's what it's for we want it to be pretty convenient to use so I am going to sort of park it over in this area to where we can just pull it out this little door right here and get to it very conveniently so we'll just park it right here and then this next tractor is our road crop tractor it's for like planning and stuff like that so it's going to go in the shop here as well I'm probably just going to put the planter up against the back wall come on uh, I think I missed a strap as if that little strap would have held this tractor in real life but whatever we got it uh, is there another one I missed? Something ain't working. Uh, what are we strapping and unstrapping? Something ain't doing something right. Turn around to the other side and see if I can get it. Huh, I can't manage to get this one here unstrapped. Don't know exactly what's going on here. Come on, unstrap. See if it helps when I turn this off. Nope. There it went. All right, I think we got it. Ah, did burn it. Wish that quit happening. All right. Ah. All right. Let's see if we got this tractor unstrapped. Oh, we forgot to raise the planter. We had to raise that. All right. Luckily, our hoppers are sort of flexible. But, uh, yeah. All right. And we got this thing pulled right off of the low boy. And we're going to back this planter right in the shed right here. Or, actually, I wonder... Uh, it's probably fine because we need this planter to be, it needs to be in the dry and in the climate control part. So I guess it can just go right here. Just back it up to right here somewhere. Pull up, back it in. Oh, back it in. Right there. That looks pretty good. Disconnect that right there. Pull this tractor forwards a little bit and it will be fine right there so now we are going to take the semi truck and trailer and we are going to head on back down to the shop pick up the case and the disc and then we're going to bring the international and that trailer and there's a few other things i think we're going to pick up today so i will catch y'all back whenever we get back down to the dealership all right everyone we're just about to roll into the dealership we took a little back road to miss some red lights because well if you don't know this is umrv and the red lights actually stop you and it's very aggravating so i decided to just take a little shortcut and go around through there we should uh, probably take that home but i think we're gonna go ahead and take our case home first uh, if i can manage to get around this corner with my trailer I think we're going to have to swing pretty wide to get around here. Oh, all right, back it up. Oh, all right. Oh, and once again, this thing has decided it needs to save. There we go. All right, we'll run over here. We're going to get this case loaded up and then we'll head it home and then we'll come back and get the international. I'm just going to drop the drop deck right here come on there we go all right so now we're gonna go ahead and get the case loaded up so i'm gonna begin doing that so i'll catch y'all back whenever i get that done all right, everyone, we got this thing loaded up. So now we're gonna go ahead and hook our trailer back up to our truck. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing home and I will catch y'all back whenever we're getting there. And we're getting this thing unloaded and then we'll come back and get the other semi. So I'll catch y'all back then. 
All right, everyone, we are just pulling up to the farm here, and we're going to go ahead and get up here and get this unloaded. So I will see y'all back whenever we're pulling this thing off the trailer. All right, everyone, I got the truck disconnected, the straps off. So we're going to go ahead and pull our case magnum off here. I was going to back it all, but the disc was too wide to go up there. So we wound up doing it this way. Now, I think I'm going to put the disc in the back shed. And then I'm going to put the tractor in the front part right there. That's where we'll keep stuff that needs to stay warm and stuff like that. Just watch we'll to run around front here and open the door. Go ahead and open up this door. We'll run back through here. We got a little garage door right here. See if we can't get this open. There we go. Back on the tractor. These tractors too, I just want to mention these tractors look really good on the inside. Every tractor we bought, it's a really good like a tractor like this one right here. You got your monitors for your spraying and herbicide. You got your switches, you got your button boxes, everything like that, your GPS. You've got all of that and the inside of these tractors, I just they they look really, really good. Alright, let's just hope I can get this thing in here without any issues. Door, I don't know if the door is hardly wide enough. Oh, good grief, it's close. It's really close. We'll just back this right up in here. Go ahead and disconnect that. And then, oh, yep, we got a little off. We're going to go ahead and pull the case magnum around front here. Now, so far, We'll go over the equipment here that we've got here in just a few minutes. But so far we've got about three pieces of equipment, or three tractors I should say. We've got the Case Magnum, we've got the John Deere, uh, which is on row crops, and then we've got our John Deere like utility tractor type thing. Uh, to save space, I don't think we're going to need this tractor for too long, so I think we'll just back it right up in here to save space. Just like so. So we've got this tractor right here, we've got a case right here, and then we've got a utility tractor. And so far we've got a planter and a disc. We've got two semi trucks, which we've gotta go ahead and get this one back connected up. As you can see, I've got that trailer that goes with this truck. I don't know if you can see up there or not, but it's in the, sh in the semi truck shed up there where we park all this stuff. So that is where this is going to go as well. We're just going to back this up just like so, somewhere right in here. And we're going to get this connected. Come on, there you go. And now I'll show you how this place right up here works. It's really cool. And it actually worked exactly the way I thought it would. And I actually didn't have any problems with it. So you come up through here just like this and you swing wide through here with our extra wide driveway. You can drop way down through here. No problems turning up, no problems turning into anything. This trailer is going to get parked in the back right here because we won't be using it a whole heap. So it's going to get dropped right here. Just like that. And then this truck right now is just gonna get, oh, brakes, brakes. This truck right now is just gonna be parked right here because we don't need it right now. Now we're just going to uh, do something a little unrealistic and we're just gonna jump down here into this semi truck and we're gonna go ahead and start bringing it home. It's a really nice truck as well. Uh, twin axle, dual axle in the back, got a two hopper grain trailer. Seems to work really good. It's a really nice truck. I really like it. But anyway, I'm going to head home with this truck here, so I will catch y'all back whenever we're getting there. All right, everyone. So we're just pulling into the farm for the first time with this semi-truck. As you can see, we don't have a whole lot of problems turning in at all. Everything seems to work pretty good. It's a really nice truck. I like the animations on it. I like the way the shifter is. It actually shifts gears, and I like the way it sounds. It's a really good truck. So I reckon I'm going to go on up here and we'll park this in the shed. So I will catch y'all back when we get that done because we got a few more things I think we're going to purchase today. 
uh, a little bit smaller piece of equipment, but there is a few more things. So I'll catch y'all back whenever we get to doing that. All right, everyone. So we are in our Dodge Ram Power Wagon here. And we are gonna head down to town. I've got a lead on a bigger truck. It is a it's a Ram truck. It's a dually, and it's for we would still drive this one 95% of the time. That one there is just something a little bit bigger if we wanted to pull a trailer. And supposedly it comes with a I think it's a 25 foot gooseneck trailer as well. And that's basically what we do with it. It's just for pulling some uh bigger stuff around that we may not want to do with this this truck can pull that trailer but it will be a little bit bigger of a truck if we need it and then also i've got a lead on a mahenra gator that we are looking at that way we would have something to drive around the farm so first we're going to go look at the truck that way if we buy it then we can use the trailer that is behind it to go and get the gator if we want to purchase it as well and they're only like a few miles apart, so it shouldn't take that long. So I will catch y'all back whenever we get into town. Alright, everyone. So I know the truck was somewhere around here. If I'm not mistaken, it's right over here at this BP. And I think I may see it right here. I think this is it right here. This is where the guy parked it. He done some hot shot trucking with it. This was his newer truck that he got for it. Pretty nice truck. I like the color scheme on it. Really nice trailer here as well. We're going to run here to the gas station and see if we can uh, pay them for it because I think we're going to purchase it. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Here's the key. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, everyone, we just purchased us a brand new truck. So now we are going to run this truck. We're going to park our truck around front. They said that that will be fine. We just purchased this. They're going to give the money to the owner. And we are going to go over and look at this brand new Mahindra Gator that we are looking at purchasing. It's not brand new. It's new to us that we are looking at purchasing. And I think we'll just park the truck right over here. Just like so. That would be fine for right now because considering we're going to come back and get it here in a few hours. So we're going to go and jump in this thing and start it up for the first time. Sounds pretty good. It's a uh, five-speed manual. Seems to be a really nice truck. All right, well, I reckon we have bought it now, so we're going to go over and check on that gator. So I'll catch y'all back whenever we get there. All right, everyone. I think this is the drive right here. We're going to turn right in here. I believe this is it. I think I see it up there in the distance uh, i'm not going to try to do nothing i'm just going to sort of pull off to the side right here see how that works turn it off right there seems to be a pretty nice gator it's a burgundy color it's got a windshield everything seems to be a note in good condition there's really no scratches in the bed the tires look pretty good seats aren't ripped or nothing it's fairly new jump in it here just a few minutes and look at the interior keys are in it let's just start it up sounds pretty good all right i think we're gonna pay a asking price we're not going to jude them or nothing we're just gonna pay a asking price i'll catch y'all back whenever we get that done all right thank you very much all right thanks. all right you are most definitely welcome and i it was a pleasure doing business with you Pleasure doing business with you. All right. Well, we just bought ourselves a brand new Mahindra Gator. So I reckon we'll go ahead and put the ramps down on our trailer right here. Go ahead and jump in here. And we're going to put the ramps down just like so. Go ahead and get those drops down. Start this thing up. We got the uh, papers and everything on it. So. We're going to ease this thing up on our trailer. Come on. And this is the first load with our new truck and trailer. We're going to park this about right here. Grab a few straps. We'll strap it down. We'll fold up the gate here. Go ahead and get back here and uh, fold the gate up. There we go. All right. Put a few straps across it. All right. And we are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and head home with this. 
So I will catch y'all back whenever we get there. All right, everyone. So we're gonna go ahead and unload this thing right here. And I think for now, uh, we'll put this thing out here at the shop for right now. Target here. We're gonna park the trailer up there in our uh, semi parking area is where we're gonna park that. That way it will be out of the way. And we're gonna park this truck in our garage. So I'm gonna get up here and get this trailer disconnected and I'll catch y'all back whenever I get that done. All right, everyone, so we got that disconnected. So now we're gonna run this truck over to the house and get it parked in there. And this will actually be the first thing to put in the garage because we didn't put the other ramp in the garage. Oh, good grief, it got a little swirly on me there. And, oh, okay, brakes are not a thing. All right, we're gonna have to uh, call down to local garage now see if we can't get our bumper fixed. But, uh, other than that, everything seems to be working fine. I don't know why our brakes didn't work right there. We'll go ahead and we'll ease this thing in the garage just like this. Back it up just a little. Right there. Looks good to me. Go ahead and let the garage door down. Maybe. Maybe. Well, maybe we're not going to let the garage door down. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna have one of my friends come pick me up and take me down to the uh, dealer or to the gas station. That way we can pick up my truck. So I'll catch y'all back whenever we get there. All right, everyone. So I just made it back down to the gas station here and to pick up my truck. So we're heading home now. So anyway, I will catch y'all back whenever we get there. All right, everyone. We made it back to the farm and now we are going to be purchasing some land. We're going to need some uh, other fields in order to be make money farming. So we're going to be purchasing some land. And I've got three fields in mind. I think we're going to purchase this plot right here. We're going to purchase that. We've got this plot right here. We're going to purchase this. And I'm thinking we purchase this plot right here as well. And then this plot right here. And this plot right here. So now we have the field around the house. This field down here, which is consider that we'll consider that one, two, three, four, five, six. We now have six fields, and the only other one I think we should buy is 17. Now we have seven fields. And that should be plenty to get us going. We have our fields now. We have some of our equipment. Uh, it is harvest season, so we're going to be needing a combine here pretty soon. But I think we're going to pick that up in the next one. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of us getting our equipment. In the next video on here, we will be getting a combine, and hopefully we'll be harvesting some of our fields to make us some pretty good money. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and bye for now.